Hey there, guys and gals. Welcome to Fractured Poet, a podcast for all of you poetically insane individuals who love getting lost in the art of poetry. Podcasting from Ontario, California, I am your host, Katrina Wisniewski, just another person in the world obsessed with words, striving to make sense of it all. All right, so today's episode is called A Poet's Muse. To all my listeners, just another reminder of the kind of poet I am. I like to write about what it's like to be a poet. I tend to express my emotions about the poetry process and my poetry. I think it gives the reader a sense of, how do I put it, awareness, if that's even the word I'm looking for, of what it's like to be a poet sometimes. To give the reader a glimpse into my thought process as a poet, as well as during the creating stages. Writing a poem takes a lot of patience, at least for me. I am not sure how every other poet in the world copes with poetry, or if they have any difficulties at all that are similar to mine. I like to write what I feel in the moment. So with that being said, here is a poem called The Mind is a Whirlwind. The sanity that brews within is a thought equivalent to a feline chasing its tail, attempting to calculate the amount of madness. The numbers are overwhelming. To acknowledge the thoughts inside my head, understanding nothing that takes place, an unassembled contraption with no instructions. So I wrote this poem back in October of 2019. I really wanted to write a poem, and I didn't have the right words to create one, although clearly I came up with one, otherwise I wouldn't have just recited a poem. But it wasn't a poem that I intended to write, if that makes sense. My frustrations about not being able to come up with the right words turned into a poem about just that. It's weird when that happens. Because sometimes I feel like I am running up against writer's block more times than I can count. But most of that time, I end up creating a poem about writer's block. Quite frankly, I don't even know if this poem makes any sense at all. But on to the next one. This one is called Words in My Head. These words in my head, it's hard to explain. Free-flowing, I have no control. I write in rhymes, sometimes in riddles, but who can really tell? These words in my head, I use them to escape. So many words, so little paper. The words inside my head. And just like in the last episode, this poem was rewritten while writing out the contents of today's episode. But nonetheless, it still does the job, I suppose. This poem can go either way in terms of how I feel towards the writing process and just being a poet in general. Sometimes I have so many words popping up in my head that I don't know what to do with them all. I have all of these phrases or sentences that I want to use for a poem, but then some of those phrases or sentences don't coincide with the other, and I end up scrapping the idea or forming a couple of different poems at the same time. And those are usually left unfinished because I don't know what else to include, or I am literally at a loss for words. I know I must come off as someone who cannot stand poetry, especially with the way I write about it and how I talk about it. However, that is far from the truth. I love poetry, probably more than I even care to recognize. Poetry is really fun and sometimes even challenging. Challenges are not meant to be fun, at least in my opinion anyway. Up until you actually get the hang of what you are doing, then you start to get the fun end of whatever it is that you're doing. That is how I am with poetry. 
Poetry is fun once you get used to the initial concept, but even then, it can get very annoying to the point where you get so pissed off that you just have to walk away from it. But when you do get to that point, it's almost like a light bulb going off because you start to realize that you have a passion for it. You want so bad to write and create a poem, but when nothing comes out making sense, you can't help but get upset. Hence the reason why this episode is called Poet's Muse, because poetry is my muse. Such a bittersweet relationship, as I've said before. But guys and gals, that concludes the show. Unfortunately, I know my some of my episodes are really short and I apologize. But to those of you who are always tuning in and those of you who just happened to pop up on, you know, my feed, thank you so much for joining in. I hope you liked what you heard and tune in next time. You can catch this and future episodes at anchor.fm forward slash factor poet. This episode of Fractured Poet was written and produced by me, Katrina Wisniewski. Music by Alternative Rock Volume 1 and Rock Electronica Volume 4 from a website called freeplaymusic.com. You can also follow me on Instagram at Fractured Poet. And as always, thanks for listening and until next time.